this is Maria. I'm going to show you how I made this weekly spread in Note Shelf using just simple stickers, uh, PNG files. This is Jenny Golan Designs, uh, the 2020 Digibujo. This is the peach, but it comes in various colors. Um, if you look down here at the bottom of your screen, there will be a little uh, down arrow. That's where you will find the list of products that I use in every video. So, um, let's get started. This is Note Shelf. I'm trying Note Shelf out because GoodNotes is giving me a lot of glitches right now with the new iOS update, um, and I'm not finding issues with Note Shelf. So, as usual, I'm going to clear the screen now. Note Shelf. There's another video out already. Um, Note Shelf for digital planning. Um, if you look on my page, you will see that. I'll try to link it below as well, but it gives you an overview of all the tools in Note Shelf. But if you click the eraser, clear the page, and I have a blank journal to work with. So there's several ways to add your images into Note Shelf. The plus tool will let you add photos if you have your items in a photo roll. Let me find the first one I used was a freebie. Jenny has a newsletter and she gives us freebies uh, once a month. So the first one I know was a freebie. Okay. So instant weekly spread. If your items are in your photo roll. Okay. If you have your images somewhere else, you're going to need to work side by side. So pull up from the bottom. I have some images in the cloud in I in iCloud Drive. I'm going to find my folder where I keep my, my stickers and just find the sticker sheet that I want. And drag it over. Okay, I'm going to close that out. So you can drag and drop from files, from Dropbox, from Photos, you can do this, okay? Okay, once you're in here, you're going to long press, edit, and now you can crop. You have different tools here. You have an eraser, you have your rectangle, standard rectangle, you have an erase, I'm going to say no, you have an eraser, which lets you actually erase, you have an undo button, and you have a freehand cutout. Whichever way works for you, and now you have an image cut out. Okay, so there's an image over an image. I can long press the week, move that, or I can long press the splatter. Okay, there we go. All right, so the other way to do photos is side by side. So if you remember, we did photos this way with the plus sign. You can work side by side with photos, but it won't let you drag and drop. If you try to drag it like we're used to, it won't come over. That was a change that happened in the new iOS update. It has nothing to do with this app. The way to do it now is long press, copy, and then use the paste tool in Note Shelf. Okay, I'm going to close that out tap, edit, and now we can crop. I have a free hand. Okay. So use the tool that works best for you. You've just cropped out a sticker. Okay. Size it to fit. Now that one's not going as small as I would like. So I think something we have found is if you make your journal bigger, and tap it. You are now able to make that smaller. Where it wouldn't go smaller before, if you zoom it will work. So now I'm going to, I'm still in the lasso, I'm going to copy, paste, and put that where I want it. Paste again. I'm going to go back. 
I'm going to keep using the same sticker. Now from here, this is side-by-side -side view that we're used to. If you grab this little handle here, you can move that and put it on top of your journal. If it's on top, you can slide it on and off your screen, okay? And you can slide it all the way over or slide it off. Um, I find this handy. That way I have the full size of my journal behind me and I don't have to have it in split mode. Again, this is all personal preference. This trick is an iPad thing, so it will work in GoodNotes too if your GoodNotes is working for you. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Tap, copy, tap and paste. I was still in the lasso. Okay, now I'm going to edit and crop out the next sticker. We'll use the rectangle mode this time. Click done. Yes. Now I have a little splatter. Let's copy that. And paste it over here. And then we have two. Okay, now bring that back, copy, paste, edit, and we'll just keep going. Sometimes this rectangle mode doesn't go small enough to get what you want. I'm trying to get this black one. It won't go small enough. You can either do what you can here, say apply and keep going with the same tool or I'm going to set reset it takes me back to where I was or you can simply do the hand hand cut okay so you've got lots and lots of options of cropping here okay so now there's that one again it's not going small enough so I'm going to make my journal bigger and make that the size that I want. Okay. I'm going to, I'm still in lasso. Copy. Paste. I'm going to long press to get the rotation. Okay. Put these closer. And now I'm going to resize, actually make that bigger, so that it fills my page. Copy, and paste it again. Okay, that's good. I'm using the same sticker. Copy, and paste, edit, and I want this little pink one. Done. Yes. I'm going to rotate and make it smaller. Okay. Let's grab one more. Copy. And paste. Edit. Okay. I'm just going to select a pen and handwrite. Okay, so you can pinch to zoom to write, or you can use the magnifier. And I need to just handwrite my days in. Oh, look, you can zoom right here. Mm 
or you can move the box. I like my handwriting better in this app. Um, I'm neater. I'm a messy writer in general, but um, this pen um, is my favorite. It's one of, it's, I have the same pen in different colors. Um, I think it makes my handwriting looks better. So I'm going to show you one other thing. finish writing this and then I will show you. Alright, so if I choose to move my text, I'm going to lasso and let's say, whoops, I meant to put Bible study on Wednesday and I wrote it in on Thursday. I'm going to lasso and try to move that. And it moves my entire image behind it. So we don't want to do that. I'm going to back up. Um, with this app, you cannot move handwriting only the way you can in some other apps. So if I really wanted to, I would have to erase and handwrite it again. The thing that we found is if you lasso, you have the option to convert to text. Okay, it's pre-selected. Um, my default font, you have a gear right here. So when I hit convert, it turned it into my text. Okay, my favorite text. Now my favorite text was, let me double tap that, Cindy Light in 18, size 18 was set as my default um, from previously. Okay, so now, now that it's a text box, I can move that text box anywhere I want. Okay, you cannot move your handwriting, but you can move your text. So I'm going to go back to text mode, and I get my little box, and I can put it wherever I want. Okay, copy tool, convert to text, and now I can move that. Or you can simply rewrite it somewhere else. Whatever works for you. That's it. Thanks for watching.